Hello everybody, I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Here is an update as we head into the work week. We have a huge storm system that is throwing masses of clouds across the area for the big eclipse. Now, there's going to be a chance of seeing it for sure in areas, but we could have the development of some clouds, some severe thunderstorms, and we're going to review it all. What can you expect? Let's get started right away with a look at the risks for severe weather and the eclipse path. So in doing that, we'll take this from my friends at NASA. Starting about midday in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas, the total eclipse will begin in South Texas. Now, it will continue to work its way to the north and east as we go through the day. And as we go through around the one to two o'clock time frame, it will be crossing out of parts of Texas through, well, southern Oklahoma into central Arkansas as well. And that will continue to drift northward into the Ohio River Valley. We're talking southern Illinois and in towards Cleveland and the northeastern United States as we go towards three to four p.m. Eastern time. So starting noon central time, three to four Eastern time, that's that's the timing and the track of the total eclipse. Now, as we take a look at what we have going on with regards to our weather, we're going to get started first and foremost with the all-important cloud cover, right? You got to know that. So let's take a look at one model's future prediction of what the satellite might look like. And we'll keep this track in mind. Southern Texas, all the way to the northeastern New England states as we go through the afternoon hours primarily. So let's get right over to that. And I will put that up right now as we take a look whew, at this. Now, this is a product from a computer generated model. And I will go ahead and slide this up just a little bit here so that I can adjust your view. And then we'll go ahead and slide the timing back and rock it. And I'll tell you what you're looking at and what the timeline is here. So as we uh, put that up on the top there, we'll take a look. Now, what we're looking at here is the cloud cover from the satellite view. And this is going to be in the wee hours of the morning heading into our Monday. So as you're rising and shining, we're talking around 10 to 11 a.m. here, we're going to have a chance for just some hit and miss clouds across much of the south where things are getting started. I'm gonna go ahead and slide this down just a little bit farther to the south so you can see Southern Texas where things are rocking through. Now, here we go. Southern Texas in this area, some developing clouds pushing in as we get started in the midday hour. And we have quite a bit of clear skies expected for you folks in the extreme northeastern New England states for Maine. Vermont and New Hampshire, but at this low pressure system is going to provide a pretty thorough band of clouds through the northern Great Lakes and the northern portions of the north central plains. Now, as we step through in time, this system is going to bring clouds, showers, and storms. So now you're looking as we go through at about, well, three in the afternoon. Notice the cloud cover is spreading across Texas. And as, as we head into the midday, excuse me, hours and into the afternoon, the clouds spread into Louisiana and the southeastern part of the United States. So the boot hill of Missouri and much of Arkansas may have a decent chance for that brief viewing as we're going through that one to two o'clock in the afternoon time frame here. So that is the way that's looking. And it's still clear in the northeastern New England states. You may have the best chance at seeing. Notice the Ohio River River Valley here having a band of some clouds streaming through right in the area where the total eclipse is supposed to traverse through. So as we continue on in time here, now you're heading, uh, so this is about the midday hour into the early afternoon, the clouds will spread northwards through Arkansas, Louisiana. Notice that in southern parts of Indiana and Illinois, even into Ohio, there will be a chance for some clouds spreading through as well, heading into the afternoon hours. And notice, by the time we get to the evening, that's when the clouds will be increasing in Maine and in the northeastern New England states. So that is a look at the cloud cover forecast as we head our way through the event. Now let's talk about severe weather. The massive clouds you see developing in Texas is because of this. There is going to be a risk for some significant 
thunderstorm activity in Texas, southern Oklahoma, and spreading into parts of the extreme southern reaches of Arkansas and northern portions of Louisiana. This area here that is circled in yellow, that is a slight risk or a level two on a five level scale of severe weather. That means we're going to see several thunderstorms that could produce large hail, damaging winds, flooding, rain, and we certainly could have isolated tornadoes. And as we take a look at Wichita to Dallas, Fort Worth, this is the area where we have an enhanced risk of severe weather. And we could indeed see some strong thunderstorms that develop with some more numerous potential for large hail, damaging wind. And now let's take a look at those threats real quickly from the Storm Prediction Center. So as we take a look at their outlook with regards to tornadoes, the area that you see in the uh, brown here is where there will be an enhanced risk or a better chance uh, of seeing some tornadoes. That risk, by the way, is put at uh, about 5%, as you can see on the table to the left. So a 5% risk of te uh, Texas tornadic storms will be in the offing as we go through your Monday forecast. We could see damaging straight line winds as well from Wichita Falls through Dallas and on into the El Dorado area, as well as Shreveport and Monroe, Louisiana. Now, the hail risk is going to be there as well, and this is a extreme risk, the hatched risk here and the red. So if we click on the red area here, there is a 30% chance at seeing very large hail from these thunderstorms. So all modes of severe weather will be possible as we go through your Monday, developing in the afternoon and into the evening hours in the areas highlighted here. Now, let's take a look at day three. Yep, there's going to be another risk of severe weather as we head into Tuesday. Notice it's very similar. It shifts only slightly to the east. Again, all modes of severe weather possible from Houston, Dallas, Fort Worth, and straight through most of Louisiana as we go through your Tuesday. All a function of this slow moving storm system working its way through the southern plains. So that is a look at your forecast for severe weather. Now let's take a look at that hour by hour forecast on a computer generated model and we'll take a look at the United States view here. So now we're not just looking at clouds, but we're looking at that future radar that allows us to track the storms across the country as they develop. These models are going to be changing uh, as we go through the afternoon into your month. Monday, so it's important to, to stay up to date with the latest. Just know if storms do form in your area that there will be a risk of severe weather primarily in the deep south and the areas around Texas. So here we go with the onset of thunderstorms developing here as we get into the uh, late afternoon hours is what this shows for the strongest of the thunderstorms. Now we're going to zoom down just into Texas in this area of impact so we can kind of highlight the severe weather risk here in this particular forecast summary. So now as we go through the afternoon hours in Monday right here we get those developing storms on the south winds in the humid air down near the Gulf Coast states and that clashes with what's going on and diving out of the Rockies that dry air a dry line type formation here. And these early storms will have the best chance at producing the tight tornadoes, but we also could have the largest of the hail as we head through the mid-afternoon and early evening hours. These will trek across East Texas, Southern Oklahoma, and we could see some follow-up storms late as well, uh, heading into the nighttime hours. And this is Tuesday morning, folks, so some nocturnal strong thunderstorms will be possible as well. But the main event will be in the late afternoon and early evening right here, Southern portions of Oklahoma and into Texas. I will show you one more model because sometimes it is very good to take a look at a couple of different scenarios here with regards to where these models initiate the development. We know where the ingredients are there for thunderstorms, but that does not always mean that they fire. Notice discrete thunderstorm cells forming here. And I'll pop that up again. This time frame is going to be as we head into the early evening. So we're talking between 4 and 6 p.m. Central Daylight Time in Central Texas with the storms congealing into southern parts of Oklahoma and bringing all risks uh, of severe weather into the late evening hours. And those continue to trek east across Oklahoma 
uh, parts of Arkansas and northern Louisiana as we head into the wee hours of the morning on Tuesday with more storms following on the foot. So both models do tend to agree with that track, with that timing. I'm meteorologist Hutch Johnson. I have uh, the better part of 30 years of broadcasting experience as a broadcast meteorologist, uh, 20 years in the classroom teaching students at the college level meteorology. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you do, give it a like. I'd love to have your subscriptions right here on my YouTube channel as well. You can check out more videos right here on the links, and I'd love to have you let me know what your thoughts are, and let me know where you're watching in the comments below as well. Good luck on seeing the awesome eclipse, the total solar eclipse, and keep an eye to the sky, and if any storms form down in your area of the deep south, know that they could quickly become severe heading into Monday and again on Tuesday.